right now, there's a lot of global capital stuffed into U.S. equity markets. It's not really been like this since around the dot-com bubble. And if you do start to get rate cuts, foreign equity holders pulling out uh, from the U.S. market, we're setting up a at least a potential for significant capital rotations out of large cap U.S. low volatility equities and into other parts of the U.S. market as well as other parts of, of the global market. My base case is, is bullish on Bitcoin over the next 18 months. How bullish? I'd be surprised if we don't hit six figures in this cycle. Whether it's 18 months, you know, if I give myself some extra room and say 24 months, I'd be surprised if we don't hit, hit six figures. We could go way north of that. Like we could, you know, I wouldn't find it inconceivable to go well into the six figures, but I, I try to have conservative estimates. And I would say that generally speaking, if we're, if we're having a conversation two years from now and we've still not seen 100K, despite having a positive liquidity cycle, I'd be surprised. If something happens to impair the, the, the liquidity cycle. Time has come to cut rates. With these words, Fed Chair Jerome Powell signaled a dramatic shift in monetary policy during his recent speech at Jackson Hole. The anticipated rate cuts expected to begin in the Fed's September meeting could set off a massive capital rotation that we haven't seen in decades. Investors have long enjoyed the safety and returns of U.S. large-cap equities. But Lynn Alden, a prominent macro strategist, sees a different scenario unfolding, with a potential reshuffling of global capital from U.S. assets into emerging markets and alternative investments like Bitcoin. Alden believes we are on the brink of a significant economic transition that could redefine investment strategies. The Fed's expected rate cut comes amid a landscape where global capital is overwhelmingly parked in U.S. equities, reminiscent of the dot-com bubble era. Alden points out that approximately 71% of the MSCI World Index is composed of U.S. equities, a staggering concentration of global wealth in a single market. The allure of low volatility, high return, large cap stocks like Apple, Microsoft, and Costco has kept international investors pouring money into the U.S. But this dynamic is set to change. Alden argues that as the Fed moves to cut rates, possibly by 25 or even 50 basis points, the appeal of U.S. assets could diminish. Lower rates would likely weaken the dollar, making U.S. equities less attractive to foreign investors who have enjoyed gains partly due to dollar strength. This capital retraction could lead to a significant shift into other parts of the U.S. market and beyond, particularly into emerging markets that have been battered by a strong dollar and high U.S. rates for years. For investors, this rotation is not just about moving away from large cap stocks. It's about finding opportunities in underappreciated corners of the market. Alden believes that commodities, gold, and most importantly, Bitcoin are poised to benefit greatly from this shift. While traditional markets adjust to the Fed's new stance, Bitcoin stands out as a prime beneficiary of this capital shift. Currently trading around $60,000, Bitcoin has already shown resilience and upward momentum amid global liquidity fluctuations. According to Alden, Bitcoin's performance is closely tied to global liquidity levels. And with rate cuts on the horizon, liquidity is likely to increase, creating a favorable environment for Bitcoin. Alden's thesis is clear. As the Fed cuts rates, we could see a weakening dollar, which typically drives up the price of assets like gold and Bitcoin that are perceived as stores of value. The economic rotation away from U.S. equities and into alternative assets could propel Bitcoin into a new bull cycle, potentially driving its price well into the six-figure range within the next 18 months. For investors, this isn't just a speculative opportunity. It's a strategic pivot toward an asset that thrives on economic instability and monetary easing. Alden highlights that Bitcoin's finite supply and decentralized nature make it an ideal hedge against the ongoing currency debasement. With central banks worldwide grappling with high debt levels and fiscal dominance, traditional FIA currencies are under pressure. The U.S., for example, is wrestling with over $35 trillion in debt and growing structural deficits, making sustained positive real rates nearly impossible. As governments continue to manage these challenges by printing more money, Bitcoin's appeal as a deflationary asset becomes increasingly evident. This economic environment sets the stage for a scenario where Bitcoin not only holds its value, but appreciates significantly as investors refuge from depreciating fiat currencies. The ongoing rise in global liquidity, driven by the Fed's pivot and similar moves by other central banks, further supports Alden's bullish outlook. 
She argues that Bitcoin's market cap has not yet hit the extremes seen in previous cycles, suggesting there's plenty of room for growth. Alden's insights reveal that Bitcoin is not just a speculative asset, it's a strategic component of a diversified portfolio, especially in times of economic transition. With the traditional 60-40 stock bond portfolio model facing challenges due to higher inflation and lower returns on bonds, Alden suggests a three-pillar strategy. Equities for disinflationary growth, cash and bonds for protection against liquidity contractions, and commodities including Bitcoin for safeguarding against inflation and currency debasement. Bitcoin's role in this portfolio is crucial. It provides exposure to the digital asset space and serves as a hedge against both inflation and systemic risks inherent in traditional financial markets. As a decentralized, globally portable asset, Bitcoin offers a unique combination of liquidity and security, making it an attractive alternative to gold in Alden's eyes. For investors who have yet to embrace Bitcoin, Alden's analysis provides a compelling case for considering it as part of their broader investment strategy. The combination of favorable liquidity conditions, increased global adoption, and the structural challenges facing fiat currencies suggests that Bitcoin's upward trajectory is far from over. Beyond Bitcoin, Alden sees emerging markets as another major beneficiary of the upcoming capital rotation. The prolonged period of dollar strength has significantly impacted emerging economies, many of which have large amounts of dollar-denominated debt. However, as the Fed eases rates, the dollar is expected to weaken, providing much-needed relief to these markets. Alden notes that countries like Brazil, India, and other emerging economies have higher real interest rates compared to the U.S., giving them more room to cut rates and stimulate growth. This makes them attractive investment destinations as global capital seeks higher returns outside the U.S. Historically, Emerging markets have performed well during periods of U.S. rate cuts as lower rates reduce the burden of dollar-denominated debt and boost local currencies. This scenario is likely to play out again, and Alden believes that investors who position themselves early in these markets could reap significant rewards. While Bitcoin has captured much of the spotlight, Alden also emphasizes the importance of traditional commodities like gold. Despite reaching near all-time highs, Gold has seen relatively little interest from retail investors. Yet, central banks, especially in Asia, continue to buy gold at record levels, seeing it as a stable store of value in a volatile economic environment. Alden argues that gold's role in a portfolio should not be overlooked, particularly as a counterbalance to equities and bonds. The combination of ongoing geopolitical tensions, inflationary pressures, and the weakening dollar makes gold an attractive asset class that can provide stability amid broader market turbulence. Similarly, other commodities, including energy, are poised for a resurgence as capital rotates away from overvalued U.S. equities. The narrative of disinflationary growth that has dominated markets for the past decade is giving way to a more complex environment where commodities can thrive. Alden's outlook serves as a wake-up call for investors. The upcoming Fed rate cuts are not just a signal of economic easing, they are the harbinger of a broader market shift that could redefine where capital flows. The era of easy gains in U.S. large caps may be winding down, making it essential for investors to reassess their portfolios. Bitcoin is ascent, driven by favorable liquidity conditions and structural weaknesses in traditional financial systems, represents a once-in-a-generation opportunity for investors looking to hedge against uncertainty. Similarly, Emerging markets and commodities offer a compelling case for diversification as the economic landscape evolves. For those willing to embrace these shifts, the next 18 months could be transformative. Alden's insights highlight the importance of staying nimble, informed, and ready to capitalize on the opportunities that lie ahead. As the Fed embarks on its rate-cutting journey, the stage is set for a significant reallocation of global capital, one that savvy investors will not want to miss.